YouTuber? Yeah. Push your YouTube channel. After prison show. Well, you came from prison? Yeah. Why, what do y'all want to do when you grow up? Be an NBA player. Oh, yeah? Do you got an NBA name, though? Like, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, my name? Genesis. Oh, boy. You got a superstar name. You got a superstar name. You can be anything you want to be. What's going on, Army? I stole a camera. We're on the run. We're heading to Mexico. No. Joe gave me a camera, he had something to do. We had an opportunity tonight that we could not pass up, so here I am on my way right now to meet with Reggie Barnett Jr., AKA Easy. Man, I'm super stoked about this. As you know, he won his first bare knuckle boxing match a few months back, and he's about to fight again this weekend, y'all. This weekend, fight number two, Easy, versus clay man it's gonna be it's gonna be epic man easy said he's been training extra hard for this one if we thought the first fight was rough and tough this next one is gonna be even better so i'm super happy for him i'm super stoked about this but there's something else that's bringing me out there this evening rva magazine is doing an interview on reggie and they asked reggie if he had anybody he could call that he was locked up with to come out because they wanted to interview them too. And the first people he thought of was Joe and myself. And it's an honor. I'm super, super stoked about this thing. So, like I said, Joe had something to do. There was a trip. I think they were going to the moon. You know, it had to be special for Joe to miss this. You gotta believe that, all right? But this project Joe's working on, Y'all see it coming up in the future. We've been working all day on it and he's still, still busting butt right now to get this thing ready. But enough of that. I'm heading out there right now. I don't even know what to do. These people want to interview me about Reggie while he was locked up and ask me some questions, but it's my opportunity. This is how I see it. This is my opportunity to plug APS. Bam. You see it, I got the t-shirt on. It's not a video interview, it's an interview for a magazine. I, I think I already said that. But still, I think it's an opportunity. And this is an opportunity for me to get out there and do my thing for Joe and let Joe see that, you know, I'm capable. Joe doesn't have to take all the responsibility on himself. If there's projects, I got this. I got you, Joe. I got you. Got you. So after this interview with RVA Magazine, God, that's so crazy, man. After the interview with RVA Magazine, I have a moment to get some interview time for us, for APS with Reggie, man. We've been trying to get up with him. He's a busy man, we're some busy guys, and we haven't had the opportunity to link up together and talk, but this right here is the opportunity, and so I'm jumping at it. I'm going to be able to go inside the gym that him and his father own together, 757 Boxing. I'm super stoked about that. You know, congratulations to Reggie and everything he's accomplished. But, man, this is it. I hope you all enjoy the ride. We're on the way there. All right, let me tell you a little bit about RVA Magazine. Its first issue was in 2005, and it's all about community empowerment. They do this by delivering new and innovative ways to tell stories from our city and Commonwealth. And in doing so, they give their readers an immersive experience which lives at the intersection of art, music, culture, and politics. Man, this magazine covers everything and it's from right here in Virginia. Man, I'm hoping that this right here, you know, could help people understand what APS is about just a little bit more. All right, we're, we're here. Well, we're actually past it. <laughs> we have gone where no man has gone before. Well, that's a lie because I bet you there's a whole lot of men who have gone further than their GPS told them to go. But we're here, ladies and gentlemen. We are at 757 Boxing. This is the first time I think I've seen Reggie since we were in prison. It's go time. I just walked in the gym. <laughs> We in the gym, noise going everywhere. What's up? We got Reggie right here. First day of weight cutting. Left the house at 140, so 
it's gonna be easy work. You told you you said something to me. He said something to me when we were on the phone earlier. About what? Reggie, you, you were talking about the mode you were in, man. Oh, I'm in fight mode. You're in fight I'm, mode. I try not to be like disrespectful and irritable with the people around me and that I love, but really my focus is just play burns. Bro. You know, play what? Like, play burns. My opponent. You know, like no disrespect to him, you know, we're gonna fight. And so my focus is is him. Like my mentality is this is a street fight, you know, it's like yo, meet me at the park after school at three PM. Anytime anybody's ever says Something like that to me. It we already know what it was, you know. So that's how I carry. It. That is my mentality, and so, but I just have the opportunity to prepare myself in the best way possible, and so that's what we do. We grind hard. Uh, I got five pounds to go to make weight. Five pounds, man. You can cut five pounds in a, a day with a good shit, bro. <laughs> I cut I'm, that I'm, in a day. I'm telling you. Really, I just, you know, we're just gonna work on some light like, technique. Stay sharp today. Man, my man is ready to go. Reggie is ready to oh, yeah. go. And I get to try out my shoes today. What you got here? Uh, Match Bout, my sponsor. Uh, these are custom made. Travails. Uh, they went on sale on Saturday. But I had the first official pair. I'm gonna get my logo and stuff put on them tomorrow. But so what's, to what's going on in here right now? Oh, right now what we have is uh, our fitness class. So it's Monday and it's conditioning because everybody likes to, you know, on the weekend go out. It's still summertime, you know, not eat too healthy. The kids have some fun. Plus, uh, this past Friday, we had a lock in for the kids. So, uh, so it's uh, conditioning going on right now. And, uh, we have the adult and the kids classes combined together for that part. And then we'll split them up and the kids will work on their technique. And the adults will work on their technique. That one's really, really tough. It's. Uh, it's uh, up and down, that's how I made it. Like you start off the high knees, you know, and then um, the first couple of workouts are up, and then you go down to mountain climbers and stay down there for a while, and then you get back up the high knees. And it's up and down, back and forth. So what you're saying is, what they got going on behind us right now, yeah. you created this workout? Yeah, yeah, I made that myself. Boy, it's hot in here. Reggie's about to get in the ring and do a little uh, shadow boxing. style writing right to Virginia that's kind of what it started out to be and so we're trying to just <laughs> cover real stories from the objective perspective so they're all Virginia based Virginia DC and Rose based I mean they're all over the place but I mean we, we heard about this guy on local news and then um <laughs> Boxing and fighting is a science. I get to create, I get to invent, I get to bring my own to it, you know? And so on Saturday, you, you'll get to see what all the new stuff we've been coming up with. This Saturday? Yeah, this Saturday. Live on pay-per-view. All right, Reggie, I got one more question for now. 
Why, man? Why what? Why this? Why fight it? Yeah, why fight it? Because it's what I'm good at. It's like what I love to do. It's who I am. It's what I've always done. You know, not necessarily on a violent sense, because of course violence is a part of it, and by nature we are violent. But also because I know it pushes me to be the best that I can be. I, I feel the change in my body, the, the gain in strength, you know, the, the work on my footwork, which is, you know, already good, but it's so much better, you know, it, but what it does is it makes me be a better person, you know, and in that, when I'm that, instead of the alcoholic that I was, you know, instead of, you know, just this horrible person, you know, I'm, I'm able to get back to it. So, like I said, when class is over, you know, I get to go over here and have fun with my students and you know, teach them a little bit of my gift. I know that, uh, with every fight that goes behind you, man, you realize just how much further you are away from prison. Man. No. Honestly, I don't look at it like that. Like, it's weird, but a lot of the music I listen to, um, you know, a lot of the the mental motivation that I do for myself is, is contrary. It's, it's, it's the focus on being there. You know, not really like being there, but not forgetting those things where I came from you know I, I keep that like my favorite song in the world is 10 feet down by NF and he says you know he's looking at the cup like it's empty you know so I always look at the cup like it's empty there's always more work to be done there's more more striving to do you know and that way I stay focused on my goals that's right man hey well look man thanks for letting me come out here of course yeah are you a youtuber yeah this is YouTube channel after prison show well, you came from prison? Yeah. Why, what do y'all want to do when you grow up? Be an NBA player. Oh, yeah? Do you got an NBA name, though? Like, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, my name? Genesis. Oh, boy. You got a superstar name. You got a superstar name. You can be anything you want to be. You in the place to do it. There we go. Yeah, you got the wrong one. Huh? You got the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's coming back. Hey, Is it going the wrong way? My turn. Okay? Now you get the third one. Nope, I'm jab jabbing. You count on the one, too. I'm here at the gym. It's freaking hot. I'm watching all these people work out and I feel extremely fat just watching them work out. <laughs> I swear to God, they're making me feel terrible about myself, about my body. I need to go, I'm about to do some jumping jacks. But I mean, can you see this behind me? These people, they got these kids out here, man, and they're doing a lot of good things for these kids. These kids are about to, uh, I think they're about to spar. I'm not sure, but they're about to do something great in their life. I see these kids making a whole lot better choices than I did, ever.
man reggie is out here training right now and he's doing everything he can i can't barely even get a word in but he told me i'm i'm super cool with getting all the footage i can of him training and everything he's doing right now he told me he's not pulling out any of the secrets tonight so clay if you're watching this you ain't gonna get no sneak peek as to what's coming at you brother just be ready reggie is What you so surprised about? At Reggie and his dad's gym, 757 Boxing, man. They got all ages of kids out here right now. All ages of kids. I'm telling you right now. All ages of kids. And these kids are not out on the street. They are not out causing any problems. This is probably their first good decision. To be a part of something great. To be a part of something that can teach them responsibility to teach them all types of things other than what the street has to offer. Man, they're learning respect. They're learning discipline. And they're also learning how to protect themselves. And they're having fun while they're doing it. In the midst of the great thing they're doing, Reggie's getting ready for the next bare knuckle boxing match. August 25th, man, this dude is about to rumble for real. Man. I'm glad it ain't me. What should we expect this weekend, man? Fireworks. And what should Clay expect? To go home hurry. <laughs> Bro. With all due respect. With all due respect? Yeah. I'm going to tell you the same thing they told Ricky Bobby. Just because you say with all due respect does not mean you can say whatever you want after that. Well, well how about this way? If it offends you, then I meant it. But I worked really, really hard. Reggie. Play come hard, because I'm coming hard, and I'm cool with that. And we'll see who's the better man at the end of the day. Thanks for letting that first show come out here, man. Definitely. And just see what, and see what the whole thing is about, what y'all are doing out here, man. Y'all are doing great things, man. Y'all had the kids out here going when they could have been. We got a huge kids class, man. Program drive me crazy, but I love working. I've seen you out there. I've seen you out there. Enjoying hitting them with the pool floaties. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> I got a kid. Y'all don't, y'all, y'all don't see what they do to me to body condition it, right? Just like, let them beat you up. Yeah, like they get a line of them. It'll be the whole line of them. They're all of them got ten to twenty shots, just open range on my belt. Like it was birthday. Yeah, I Sergio. see what you was talking about. Uh, y'all see the guns? <laughs> we just wanted to get a little bigger. Yeah, just got a little bigger. He went, he went and turned in the old guns and got some new guns. You ready for this, nope, Reggie? No, I didn't turn in the old ones. I just upgraded them, the ones I already had. <laughs> From after prison show to you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Man, best support. of luck. Work. I'm going to be two Don't inches from the TV again, bro. Don't miss it. I'm going to be Saturday two night. inches. Two inches from the TV again. Easy in three, baby. Hey, enjoy life. Chase your dreams. Stay inspired. Don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do something. Because they told me I wasn't going to be where I am. I don't look, care what the naysayers say, I'm gonna go even further. So. Look at me now. Definitely.